Sean, a man of plenty of experience in 2020 cricket, but your first experience of finals day in domestic English cricket. How does that feel? It certainly is. Um, oh, mate, uh, never in doubt. Essex, were we? Um, <laughs> yeah, I think we were obviously when I first came to this dressing room here, looking around at the players we had, and um, yeah, I thought something would have to go horribly wrong for us not to make finals day. It sounds arrogant, but the team we have in, in those rooms, um, yeah, I think um, we'd be kidding ourselves not to go this far in the comp, yeah. Yeah, indeed. At the halfway stage, happy uh, with the responsibility of having to defend 187. Uh, it's quite a demanding uh, total so. on that yeah. out there, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was. I mean, obviously, Tendo put on a, uh, a clinic out there. Um, I thought, you know, I, I was happy we batted first. I thought that was our game tonight. We, we, we batted first. We were put a good total on the board, especially in crunch games. In finals, you're every chance with the, with the runs on the board. Um, we got a great bowling attack all around. Um, Masters up front, taking early wickets, was, uh, was did, did a great job for us. And um, we pulled it back at the end there, yeah. Yes, indeed. But uh, obviously, uh, you had the last word there, a hat-trick. Uh, have you mm. taken many of those oh in your mate, career? I didn't even know I was on a hat-trick, to be honest. <laughs> I was sort of caught up in everything and just trying to get wickets, yeah. as many as I could. So um, I think that's my first hat-trick in, in T20s, yeah. Is it? Very good time to uh, yeah. you know to do that. Go four wickets yeah. in four balls at the, at the finals day. But yeah, but yeah. Be better. But so on a serious note, I mean they were getting to the stage then, weren't they? Desperation tactics. And in 2020, uh, you never you never give up, do you? Mm. But so th you know, if you like, illustrated the uh, yeah. the importance of those three oh, wickets in three we balls. We said at the start of the game in the rooms, so Paul Grayson said to us, you know, the ball will fly around the place early on. They got some good hitters up front. Uh, don't panic. Um, it's amazing what happens in T20 games that you can you can bring the game back from anywhere, and that's pretty much what we did. Yeah, indeed. And looking at the responsibility of overseas players, I mean, you've been brought mm. in, you know, to fulfil that function, yeah. haven't you? To get Essex to finals day, yeah. uh, you've done the job. But you must be very, very satisfied with that. Yeah, obviously that's the reason you bring in overseas players to do, to do a job, um, to try and lead from the front, um, draw back on some experience, hopefully. Uh, I've enjoyed every minute of this of this campaign in Essex, yeah. Yeah, indeed. And I know when we were talking early on in the se season, uh, you were saying that perhaps, uh, you know, with the toll that your body's taken over yeah. the years, uh, 2020s is, is great for yeah. you. Uh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't mind coming back next year and uh, uh, helping Essex happens, to mate. defend their total. See what <laughs> happens, absolutely. Hopefully we'll be defending a title. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'd obviously very thankful for the opportunity. Um, and when, you, when you're a cricketer, especially when you're, yeah, on the uh, bad side of 30, um, which I am, uh, y you want to play in successful teams. Yeah, but successful teams playing in there just makes you feel the right side of 30, Absolutely. doesn't it? <laughs>